President Trump's address to the nation last night, you would think that people would be happy with the fact that he laid out the situation and a plan, along with calling for national unity. It's a good message, and you would think it would help to calm fears. But the Democrat Party media has an agenda, and that agenda goes forward no matter what. They all pretend to be outraged about everything, but Don Lemon takes it to a whole new level of insanity. After the speech, Don Lemon brought on Ohio Governor John Kasich, who is a never-Trumper and has been a vocal critic of Trump from the beginning. But John Kasich apparently isn't a psychotic and thought the speech was just fine and, in his own words, struck the right chords. But Don Lemon does doesn't want unity or calm. He wants panic and fear. I don't know if he stuck to the script or not, but the, whatever script he read I, I was wrong yeah. because they've had to clarify it several times. And I, I just got to say, if the president came I, out to I, calm I, I, people's fears, he didn't do a good job of it because they've had to come back and clarify it several times. I'm going to tell you, first of all, he read it. And somebody that wrote this, look, I don't want to get into that. He went, was why on not? Today That's why you're here tonight, to talk was, about the president's can I, address. Can I finish now? No, Let but no, me no, talk. no, 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 you Let can't, John. John, because we're here to talk oh, about I can't the president's talk. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to say to you, Don, we got to move down the road. Looking back doesn't get things fixed. We're not I'm looking not back. Ask, the president's address, more, the president's why address why why was were, tonight. I think it was fine. That's what I think. You, you think the disagree wrong, you with think me. inaccurate information that you have to it come back right and clarify tone. two or three times. You think that's fine? Uh, I, look, I thought he did fine. Is this for real? Did Don Lemon take a poll to find out if the American people's fears were calmed or if they were ever fearful to begin with? Or how about a poll that asks if the media is making people fearful? We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job. But first, I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact, making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about 100 times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first serve basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Does he think that getting on national TV and losing his mind helps to calm fears at all? You see, this is how you know Don Lemon is a total huckster. If he really cared about the American people and their fears, he wouldn't be flying off the handle simply because his guest refuses to bash Trump. This is a tactic I've talked about before. They make these broad generalizations and claims against Trump, but they're never specific, and if you call them on it, they won't have a response. A good example of this would be when they claim that Trump has told a bajillion lies. Look, we know very little about this virus. So what is it that Lemon wants Trump to say? Because I think that no matter what Trump says, that Don Lemon would be losing his mind. Trump is just relaying to the American people what the experts are telling him. And what about the fact that it was Trump who restricted travel from China 40 days before the World Health Organization declared coronavirus a pandemic? And in fact, Trump caught a lot of shit for that. The head of the World Health Organization actually criticized Trump, saying that it unnecessarily interfered with international travel and trade and could harm international cooperation. And then we have Joe Biden, who accused Trump of, quote, hysteria, xenophobia, and hysterical xenophobia, and fear-mongering. There's no time for Donald Trump's record of hysteria, xenophobia, hysterical xenophobia, to uh, 
and fear mongering. And by the way, the New England Journal of Medicine actually suggested that Trump's restrictions may have helped slow the spread of the virus. You have to come back and clarify several times information that you gave. Listen, I tried to cut him a break at the top of the show. You mean show. like who's going to get back into the country? You mean that, what, what, what is it that the clarification that you thought was so terrible? Tell me what you thought. I didn't was say so I bad. thought it was terrible. It I didn't say so I thought it was terrible. It what? What the fuck? Oh, now he says there was nothing terrible about the speech. Then what was this entire insane meltdown about? You see, he didn't have a response because this is all kabuki theater meant to scare people into voting for a Democrat. That's how I know this virus isn't that serious, or at least no more serious than H1N1 was. Now, let me just say right now that I am no expert on the coronavirus or any virus, but common sense tells me that this is gonna come and go with most people like the flu. Maybe I'll turn out to be wrong, and if that's the case, I'll admit it, but if it was really this serious, would the media be playing these political games? They wouldn't really be putting partisan politics ahead of people's lives, or would they? That's why I need your support to continue this fight to expose the corrupt media. If you enjoy my content and you would like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.